So what they want me to share, and um, those of you who join in on Saturday's class, uh, this information will also be relevant for you then, is for me, my first memory is when I was born, not in this life, but when I was a spark in the cone of creation. I have no idea what other people call, like any of the terms I put out, most of them are terms that I just call them and terms I came up with when I was a child in this life. So they may or may not be what other people call them. So I was a spark in the cone of creation and I got bored. Um, normally it's like, it's like in the middle of everywhere and nowhere, you know, like it's a place where you can connect with everything. Like you can just reach out your hand and there you are connected to any place, but it's off on its own in the middle of nowhere. So um, it's like all connection and no connection, like incubation. Um, and the sparks are born from the base of this cone, which is just like pure light, pure love. And these sparks are there and we're in this cone and every one of us started there, you guys, all of us. Um, and the spark stays until it resonates with a mature, uh, matures enough to have a frequency that whomever this spark connects with, um, whomever this spark connects with whatever race or collective or frequency or dimension, they feel it and they come and they claim you and you're now in the incarnation cycle or whatever cycle they have of existence with this place, with these beings. Um, we don't all stay where we are born to be. Some folk are begin with a dimension whatever, and then after a while they evolve their soul to go to other dimensions, other places. So I um, got bored and I didn't feel like sticking around and I took off. Um, I remember like the moment when I was far enough away from the cone that I realized if I went any further, it would become a little dot. I would no longer recognize it from any of the stars or, or spots out in creation. And I also realized at that moment, all the stuff that I thought was so close I could reach out and touch, it was really, really far away. I remember that moment of, I can go back now, but I didn't. I took off and I visited a lot of dimensions, a lot of, I just like bopped around, had a great time until um, I'm a little spark flying around, having fun. And um, the librarians collected me. I remember this librarian reached out fingers and picked me up as I'm flying by and says, it's time for you to grow up. And, um, and I was put in a renegade spark school and orphanage and I was raised by the librarians. Um, and since then, um, I've had lots of adventures outside of the library, but before becoming human. And um, when I'm not in, you know, life, I am working in the library, um, which is why I'm so comfortable with this place. It is my home. It's where I love to go and hang out. So each of us, each of us, was born to resonate with a certain race, a certain group, a certain dimension. And um, even when we're in an incarnation and we don't recognize what it is, you know, we don't remember, it's still there. There's still the frequency of it is there. Just as in each of us, in our core, there's a spark that's our soul. We have a little, you know, we have our soul within us. And that soul goes all the way back to when we were sparks in the cone of inception. 
So when you tap into your soul, into the core of your body, where your soul and your heart merge, that spark of light, you can connect with your greater soul and with the frequency of what you're affiliated with. So the, um, the librarians wanted me to remind you that each of us, every one of us is connected to our soul and through our soul connected with our origin, our spark self, and through our spark self connected with source, with the origin of all life. Um, so I don't know why they wanted that, but it has something to do with the adventure that we are going to go forward with. And um, I'm pretty excited. 